I was talking with another saint tonight, and she was talking about agape love. Actually, it was my mother. Uh, she was talking about agape love, and there is a need uh, for us to have uh, agape love, unconditional love, un, um, undeserved love uh, between our brethren that we carry uh, serious love for. It. But I was telling her about a particular situation where in the midst of us having uh, the charge to love our neighbors as ourself, the other half of that is learning to love yourself. Uh, that you're commanded to love yourself. That's part of that quotient. We have to find a way. You don't have to be anybody's doormat. Uh, if they walk over you time and time again, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that you don't have to be anybody's doormat. Yes, God blesses marriages. God is committed to marriage. Marriage. God loves and he sanctifies marriage. But if your husband or your wife, even men, uh, is beating you day and night, or you're black and blue every day, you don't have to stay anyone's doormat. Sometimes we got to release people. We got to actually have a key and, and actually uh, close and lock the doors behind us on some people because they want us to keep one eternal position, that we keep the position of being a doormat. God told you in his word that you were called to be the head and not the tail. But if we don't watch it, there are some people that will convince us that we're doomed to be the tail throughout our lives. Uh, if you are, are being mistreated over and over again, you, sometimes we got to wake up. You're not called to be anybody's doormat. You're called to be more than a conqueror. You are fearfully and wondrously made. You're not called to be anybody's doormat. And that, this message may have missed nine out of ten people that hear it, but there's one somewhere uh, that's listening that you're playing the doormat right now. And God sent this word to you. It's a rhema word for you that you don't have to stay anyone's doormat. Uh, go, go where you're celebrated. Don't keep going around folks that only tolerate you. Uh, God wants better for you. My name is Elder Stephen F. Smith. I'm the Apostle of the Internet. God bless you.